If you've looked at my Fantel Shell Stitch Fingerless Gloves video, you'll know that I start the gloves using foundation single crochet. Now, I tried to show you briefly in that video how to do it, but obviously it wasn't very clear. I know a few of you picked it up from there, but if you didn't, I thought I would do a little quick video using larger yarn, larger hook, so you can clearly see how it's done. I use foundation crochet, whether it's the double or the single, for everything these days. I rarely use chains to start a blanket because I find the foundation single crochet has got a lot more stretch and it doesn't do that sort of tight curling in that a found, you know, just normal chains can do. So this is how you do foundation single crochet. Start with a slip knot and pop it on your hook. Chain two, one, two. Now you're gonna insert your hook into the first chain, but I want you to catch both loops, so the top loop and the loop at the back. So you're going through two loops, and then yarn over and come back through. So you have two loops on your hook. Now foundation single crochet is done forming the chain and the single crochets at the same time. You're working vertically rather than horizontally. So to form the chain, yarn over and pull through the first loop. That forms the chain. And then to form the single crochet, yarn over and to pull through two loops. So you've got your single crochet on the top and your chain underneath. So again, pop your hook under both loops, yarn over, come back through both loops, and lift it up a little bit more than you normally would so everything is level. Then you're forming the chain, so yarn over and pull through that first loop. And then to form the single crochet, yarn over, pull through two. So you can see you're forming chains at the bottom, single crochets on top. So go under the two loops, yarn over, come back through and pull it up so it's nice and level. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two back into the bottom, going through both loops, yarn over, come back through, lift it up slightly more than you normally would, yarn over, pull through the first loop, that forms the chain, and then yarn over to pull through two. That forms the single crochet. So you can see how we work vertically to form something comes along here. It gives a really nice neat finish. See this is the bottom you can see your chains that you're making and the single crochets on top. It's brilliant for blankets especially if you're then going to work a border around a blanket because you've already got the two loops to work into so it matches the top of your work. So one more time into the bottom two Yarn over, come back through, pull it up slightly higher than you normally would because that keeps it straight so it doesn't curve in. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Into the bottom two, yarn over, come back through, pull it up, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. That's it. Really quick, really simple, and will eliminate the need to chain hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, especially when you're doing a blanket. You can count the exact amount of stitches you need. And it's a lovely, squishy start to any blanket with a really nice, neat finish. Hopefully, that was a lot more clearer for you. Happy foundation single crocheting.